Today we'll show you how to make a wall mount for your TV using these 2x4 pieces of wood. So what I have here is a 70 inch LCD TV and this thing is big and it's heavy. I think it weighs a good 75 pounds so it's quite heavy. So that's why I use a bigger piece of wood here, 2x4. If you have a smaller TV or lighter TV, um, a thinner and smaller piece of wood would do just fine. But because this TV is quite big and heavy, so I want to use something that is more heavy duty. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Well, you probably already noticed that this thing doesn't look like an ordinary TV. It's missing the back cover. Here is the back cover. I have already removed the back cover because the LCD itself was broken. So I already removed the LCD also and I turned this into an LED light but it's still quite heavy. So if I still have this cover on these mounts here will be flush and flat with the surface of the cover but because it's already missing the cover and I, I don't want to put it back on uh, the mount here is not flat so all I have to do is to drill a hole on the piece of wood here so it will stay flat on the surface on this part right here so here I've got four pieces of wood two will be on the mount and the other two will be on the wall So here I've got these two pieces cut in 45 degree angle and the plan is to mount one piece on the TV mount right here on the top. So uh, it'll be on the TV like this and this piece is going to be on the wall. So it's going to slide in like so and that will hold the TV in place. And then on the bottom, I also have two pieces of 2x4. I don't have to cut any angle for these two pieces. They just go straight on the TV. So this one is going to go straight on the mount on the bottom here. So it's going to be go on here like so. This piece is going to go on the wall. So it's going to be on the wall and it's below this piece. So this piece will support the weight of the TV coming down right and this piece here is gonna keep the TV in place so now for this piece of wood I gotta drill two holes to mount it on here and then just put it on here this gotta be exact okay and then I just use my rubber mallet now I've got two marks to drill my holes let me show you what I've got so far I drill at 3 8 holes using this 3 8 bit here and it only goes about that deep just enough to slide in here so that this surface will stay flat with this surface and then I use a smaller bit a quarter inch bit to drill a quarter inch hole in there so that my bolt can go through like so this is a quarter inch bolt so we'll go in here We'll go in here like so okay slide in and stay flat with the surface right there okay and right here and I just have to insert 
my bolt in here and in here and screw it down. And that's it. All right, so I've got all the screw in. It's nice and tight. And it's, uh, it's quite sturdy. It support the entire TV now. Now, I'm just gonna mount these two pieces on the wall. This is gonna be on the top. It's gonna be on the bottom. And the top part is the part that I cut 45 degrees, so it's gonna go in here like so. The bottom part is gonna be on the bottom, and because it's hard for me to mount this all the way up against uh, the top piece here it will be impossible because I have to mount this piece first on the wall and then I put the TV on and this part is going to support the weight down so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a gap here, a small gap about one centimeter like so Got a couple of wedges that I make, and I'm gonna just slam the wedge in here like so. And that will help make it tight. And this part here, down here, is gonna support the weight of the TV pressing down. So it's gonna take at least half the weight of the TV. The other half will be from this piece right here. So that's what it looks like, the top part right there. It's the bottom part. You got a TV ready to hang up the wall. Mounted the wooden bar on it, one with 45 degrees. And I originally used a short bar, about that short. But uh, I found that it's more sturdy with three screws because the distance between here and here is 16 inches. But uh, it's a lot better with three screws. So I have to cut another bar a bit longer. So now I've got three screws. It's very sturdy. I tried to pull myself up on this and uh, it uh, easily supports my weight. So I should be able to hold this TV She's probably about a third of my weight. So here I've got the TV on and with just the top bar. Now it should be fine hanging the TV on the wall like this. But uh, I want to take one step further and use the bottom bar to support half the weight of the TV because my plan is to put more stuff on the TV so it's going to be a little bit heavier than this. So here is what it looks like from the bottom up. This here is the bottom piece of wood that I mounted on the TV earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pencil. I'm going to mark a line here across this bar. Okay. So I've got the TV out. This is the line for the bottom bar from the TV. So here's what it looks like on the back here. You can see on the top, it's pretty nice and tight. On the bottom, there is a gap between the two pieces of wood. And that's where this wedge comes in. So I'm just gonna slide it in and bridge the gap between the two pieces of wood. 
push it in now it's tight now the bottom bar is supporting at least half the weight of the TV now. and this is the bottom bar on the other side so I'm just gonna use my wedge here just do the same thing and I'm gonna slide in the gap here you can see here on this side there's more gap on this side so that's why um, it, you can never have this perfectly aligned so the wedge will make it perfect just gonna push it in a little bit more and that's it it's taking the weight of the TV right now so there you have it homemade TV mount using just a couple pieces of uh, 2x4 wood and I use the reclaimed wood that I got for free so this whole project didn't even cost me anything at all and this TV is a rather large TV it's 70 inch and it weighs at least 50 pounds or more so in this entire video I've been calling this a TV but it's actually no longer a TV it's now a light panel so let me turn off the lights here and we'll show you how it works I'm gonna switch here ready to turn it off that's low and that's high wow that's pretty bright 